really didn't realize, I mean, I can't go live on YouTube yet, even though I do have over a thousand subscribers, and thank you very, very much for subscribing. And they take a while, apparently, to, to turn us on. But I am allowed to go live on Facebook. So what I've been doing, I've been going live on Facebook, and I was trying to do all these hacks to download videos from Facebook, like everybody was like saying, go here and go to the mobile bit, and right click and, and none of it was working. And then I realized that they're my own videos. So I can just go and click on the video, the little three dots and say download. So <laughs> this is one we did on the 26th of June. And it's what you can maybe look forward to uh, in YouTube when I get the, I want to say a loudness, but that's German. Uh, when you get the I can't think of the English word. Oh my God. Allow, allowance. The, if they allow me, anyway. Uh, one of the reasons I'm talking like this is my friend Compotillo. Christina's in bed listening to the radio and I'm out on the deck watching YouTube videos like an idiot. And it, one goes to the other, doesn't it? You keep just keep watching, watching, watching. But anyway, this is the live we did in Facebook. And I'll be back after you've had a watch of it to, uh, to say goodnight. Which means you've got to watch the whole thing. Well, that's me. I'm trying to work it out now. We've got everything ready. But I don't have my live stream. There we go. Leave me there, Mr. Stanley. He's now live. Okay. Let's have a look at this. I've got to put the volume down. All right, there we are. <laughs> I can see myself on my iPad now. That's good. Oh, damn. I should have put it sideways, shouldn't I? Because otherwise you're looking at it up and down. I wonder if we can do that now. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll leave it like this for now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim and Christina for Living With MS in Tenerife. And we're on our 360 degree camera again with the, the sound coming from here. So it was good last time, but we got a little bit of wind today, so I don't know if that's any good. We got a nice glass of wine. We did actually get a recommendation for a local wine, and I do have two bottles. I got a white and a red. Um, but we're going to save those for our wedding anniversary on uh, Sunday. On Sunday, we got a wedding anniversary. Twenty nine years, isn't it? Something. Yeah. Should have killed me instead of marrying me. Should have been out by now. <laughs> so we don't know how many people we got. Oh, we got seventeen people watching. It says here. Um, Hello, seventeen people. <laughs> I still don't know how to get to the comments or the or the what's it called? The oh, here we go. There we go. Leonie's watching and Ray, hi Raymundo, and uh, who else? Oh, they're all going away and uh, Charmaine, hey, two lovelies, you're lovely too. Mike Litzer, hi Mike, Alison McCallum, and Michael, who's called Michael? Hello. He's a toy child, the Michael Pop from the from the Monte Cristo. Oh, super! Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we got the three sixty degree camera. You can see the light above us here, which is really pretty weird. That one, and we've also got a light down the bottom, which is my aperture light, to give you a little bit of you know, a little bit light down here. Now, we did put a, a note up the other day. When was it? Yesterday. Saying we needed seven people to get to a thousand people on YouTube, and we made it. In fact, we overmade it. You thank everybody who uh, subscribed to the YouTube channel. I tried to go live last night when I hit the thousand, but apparently you've got to wait a while before you can. They look at your account, make sure you're not an idiot, and uh, well, I just hope they don't look too close <laughs> <laughs> because we're idiots. You know, we are idiots, and. Uh, yeah, so let me see if I can turn this around. Here we go. Oh, here's, this is the view you've been looking for. <gasps> wow, there we go. Sun's just gone down. 
Let me do it like that, zoom in a little bit. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh no, here we go. Because so I'm looking at it live here, there's a little bit of a delay, so I'm not even going to look at that anymore. In fact, I'm going to turn it off in case it kills the bandwidth. So, very hot, 33 degrees in the UK, I believe, wow. So there's two um, headlines that you get in the UK every year. One is, phew, what a scorcher, and the other one is, where all the schools get closed because there's that much snow on the ground. So you've got the you've got the first one. You've got the few water scorcher. I watched uh, Lee uh, Davy, the MacMaster today. He books a flight for the 8th of July. So those of you that follow him on YouTube, uh, he'll be coming over on the 8th of July. So between the 8th and I think he's here for 10 days, the 18th. So we'll be doing a collaboration with him. Uh, thank you to all the people that came from Lee's channel to me. And uh, I'm sure that a, pe a lot of our people, the people that were subscribed to us, have now discovered Lee. And so when he comes over, he'll be doing all the walk-arounds and showing you all the, all the tourist hotspots and that. And uh, he does a great job at that. I, I wouldn't have the time or the patience to do it. And he does it really, really well. So uh, if you haven't already subscribed to him, nip on over to UK MacMaster on uh, YouTube. So youtube.com slash UK MacMaster. And also, he's got another collaborator that lives just down the road here. Well, I'm saying probably about 10 kilometers away. And we've never met yet, so we will meet up. That's uh, Andrew at San Aster Car Hire. So if you're coming over this summer or any time, really, and you want to hire a car and you don't want to do it with one of the big companies, uh, you want the personal touch, then go to um, sanasty, dot com car hire. Get, get one there. So what else we got? Oh yeah, I've got to come back now because otherwise I'm I'm talking to you and you're not there. You watch the thing. Um, I also do this with the 360 where we zoom out. Now this is really cool because it's actually looking all the way around now, so you can actually see 360 degrees. So you're now sat above us in the year 2000. I love this. I really do love this. I think it gives a great idea. We're sat on a tiny planet. And let's face it, we are on a tiny planet, aren't we, kid? We are on a tiny planet. There you go. So I'm not going to whiz it round because it makes a few people sick. And uh, so we'll have a prose to that. Prose, my darling. Prose, my darling. Okay. Bling. Salute. Salute. Which means health, of course. It's amazing. Um, if you want to learn Spanish, by the way, I do have a tip for you. There's a guy in Mexico, and I think he's from Australia, but... <laughs> anyway, that's beside the point. He's called Spanish with Paul, but he's got free lessons online on YouTube. So, youtube.com slash... <gasps> I don't actually know. Search for Spanish with Paul, okay? And he's got ten free lessons online, plus an, a, quite a few other ones, specialist YouTube videos. And he just goes through. It's basically a PowerPoint video where he's telling you stuff. But on his paid course, which is $199, but get it at 50% off just today. So there's always a 50% off sale going on. And uh, if you get his course, then he really does teach what you need. So if you really fancy getting into Spanish, um, then go and see him. Uh, what else we got to say? It's, what day is it today? Friday. It's Friday, okay. So Saturday morning, tomorrow morning. We have all a Saturday breakfast where we go and get fresh French bread and croissants don't we? Mm. down the village here. So um, that's going to be good tomorrow. Um, we might have uh, a friend coming over for wine sometime this week. So we might even go live on that day. So let me go. Who else is there? Tony. Ah, Tony Leroy. Hi to Belgium. Uh, Sue is there. Kevin Dahl. Uh, Trevor, hey Trevor, how's it going? We met over in um, Playa Las Vistas last time, didn't we? There we go. There we go. Uh, Maxine is there. Michelle Reset, Mike, Kevin, Sue. I will be looking through all these comments later and answering if you have any questions. Who let the dogs out? Yeah, that is one thing that we do have over here. So if you look, if you look down here, there we go. If you look down here, that's cool. In this block here, 
There are a few dogs, especially in that one on the corner there with a the little purple light. There you go. And let's see if we can grab the dogs. And, and when they bark, we are in a sort of a catchment area, aren't we, kid? So there are certain places in the pool and certain places over there where the sound just is amplified and comes straight in. And in fact, when we're talking on the balcony, there's a place down by the pool where you can hear it as if we're stood next to you. Because it, it goes off, it, it bounces off the back wall here and goes down, it's focused. So if you go down and stand somewhere down there, you can hear us. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And Guido from Munich, hi. I, I'm assuming you're in Munich, you, you're going all over the world. Guido feeling? See, Guido, I've got to tell you, we've got to tell you, we, we actually use your name every day. Because if we're eating something and it's pretty filling, we say that's very Guido. Because your, your surname, in English obviously you know you speak English, uh, is filling. So we've got this thing where we say it's very Guido filling, it's very filling. So uh, I hope you don't mind and it's, uh, we use it as a term of endearment. Mm -hmm. don't we? So, but now we think about, we think of you all the time. We think of you all the time. Uh, oh, let's turn this round. So I'm doing it slowly, so that Ray doesn't get sick. There you go. I'm going to zoom that way now. Oh, I can't zoom that way. That's a shame. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. Yeah. So these are the uh, blocks of flats across the way. They're called the Rainbow Flats or Arco Iris. Uh, because they were all different colours when we got here, they were all different colours of the rainbow, so it made sense. Now it's uh, sort of everybody's beige apart from one. So, what's that in Spanish? Todo está beige, excepto uno. <laughs> what's beige in Spanish? <laughs> leave, it, leave it in the comments, leave it in the comments. Uh, what we got? We got oh, some fruit. Oh yeah, and we got the, the big bag of uh, oranges. Ray was asking if it came from Mercadona. Yes, it does. It comes from Mercadona. And the pool. In fact, we just got the new pool rules. I like that. Shall I say that again? I'll say that again. <laughs> we got the new pool rules. The new pool. If, you're watching, if you're watching without sound, it, it looks really good. We're, we've got some new pool rules. The new pool rules. <laughs> and... Uh, Basically, it's the same as the old pool rules, but uh, now we've got two beds per square, whatever quadrat meter it is, or square meterage it is, and we're allowed 37 people in the pool, three in the kids' pool, and you've got to book the day before. You can have time limits from two till, no, 10 till 12, 12 till two, and two till four, four till six. Is that right? Four, yep. And as long as there's no loose, so you got to go in back home for your loo. Uh, you got to take all your rubbish back with you, which you know it's, it's a no-brainer anyway. And uh, oh, we're still live. We're still live. Thirty-two people. Hey guys. And you got to disinfect. Oh, you got to disinfect your bed before and after. So before you come, after you come, and then the the pool attendants will disinfect the whole place before ten and after six. And so you can't use it outside those items, all those times. And if anybody breaks the rules, then there's problems because you... If you break the rules badly, then the You're pool can be closed. horrible No, if you break the rules badly, then there's a possibility that we might get closed down from outside. Okay. Uh, the mask thing I read today that you've got to have the mask on you at all times, not on your face, but you have to have a mask with you. And if you're caught outside without a mask, there are fines. So if you're coming over on holiday uh, or for a visit in the next, well, whenever, because I think it'll be going until there's a vaccine, then don't forget um, they take it seriously here. They do take it seriously here. So what else we got to say to you? Let's, uh, let's show you a bit more out. Here we go. Well, let's do the one where I've got a big head. I know, because what I've done, I've put it on a big tripod now. Let's, let's see if we can get the tripod, look at the tripod. So I've got it on a big tripod here now. So um, it's up here. And before, the camera was down here, and I can get ahead a of it. So if I stand up now and do the... In the youth. Oh, hang on. 
So that's what I was looking like before. Big egg, egghead. So no egghead today. Oh, it's, it's uh, quite a delay on this one. So, oh, I am an egghead now. Oh, I don't like that. Let's go back to this. That's all right. That's all right. There's me. My little planet. So, in our little world, it's now 20, 24 degrees in the shade, and it's about 32 degrees in here. Cheers, for years. Oh, we've done cheers already, haven't we? Still yeah. Still got Don't some wine left. Good. So I went out today, did a bit of shopping. On the way back, I filmed a decky town. So I drove through with my GoPro on the roof, and I filmed uh, the decky old town. So I'm going to publish that next Tuesday. So it's part of the the whole filming. So we're going to go out one day and do a Tim and Christina out, go out somewhere. And I'll also put in the the Adichie Old Town. On Sunday, I'm publishing a new podcast. The podcast is going to have Christina with SSDD, same, different day. And she's going to tell us about what she did this week. That'll take about a minute and a half. Sleep. 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 Eat, sleep. <laughs> Eat, sleep. Drink. It's not my book. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> How many books have you listened to now? Thousands. Thousands. Thousands of books. Oh, and we would like to thank all of our sponsors. I mean, there were some people that sponsored us to a great degree, and we really thank you. But we really only expect us to buy us a coffee or something like that. So, but those people that, that really sponsored us, it's basically bought Christina's audio books for the whole year. So thank you for that, and you know who you are. Uh, I will be thanking you in the podcast as I always do in the sponsor segment with your first names um, I think it's only fair because I don't want to embarrass people and also if you wanted to stay anonymous then that's fine but uh, thank you very very much uh, what else we got to say well I'm going to rub in my belly again I've just yeah. eaten I've just eaten oh yeah um, follow us on Instagram because we uh, we photograph our food that's uh, Living With MS Tenerife on Instagram, at Living With MS Tenerife. I, 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 blah, blah, blah. I did that before this LWMST thing came out. It's a bit shorter. But you'll find us anyway. You'll find us. And uh, I'm still not on Twitter, although I am on Twitter, but I just, like, push things to Twitter saying I'm doing this, but I don't actually read Twitter. So uh, Most of you guys are on Facebook. A lot of you now are on YouTube. So we're going to stay with those two platforms. And... Uh, that's about it, really, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll just have a quick look. Uh, Ray can't get over. Aaron is there. Aaron, stay safe, my friend. Aaron Bloomberg. Andy Perridge. Received an email today. Sounds crazy. Uh, hope Christina gets back in the pool soon. You don't want to go, do you, really? Do you want to go? I need a new... A new rubber ring? Yeah. Oh, we're going to get her a new we rubber ring. We're going to disinfect it, so. Yeah, well, we're going to disinfect it. I'm yeah. about that. Get a bottle of Governor. I actually tried the Governor. It wasn't too bad, actually, but it was more than two ninety five. I think. I think the one I think the one I looked at was nearer to... Oh, no, it could be two ninety five. And the last time you told me to buy a Governor, I did. It was, uh, it was quite nice. Uh, what do you have for dinner tonight? Hi, Maxine. We did have... What did we have tonight? We had not tortellini, wasn't it? Ravioli. Ravioli, but not tin ravioli. This was fresh ravioli with cheese and spinach with a Mexican salsa sauce. Because I had some Mexican salsa left over. So I made it into a warm sauce and I did the fresh ra uh, ravioli. Mm -hmm. So like three minutes in boiling water, then drained them and stuck them in the salsa sauce. It was nice. I did an olive oil bread, garlic bread. And a real good and tomato a, salad. And a tomato salad. So it's just chopped tomatoes with balsamico and salt and pepper. But that was really nice. I took a picture of it and uh, I'll be publishing it. Well, actually, what I do is I put it on Instagram and it chucks it out to Facebook. So you probably see it on Facebook. And I chuck it out to Twitter now. But that's just a link to go to Instagram. So I don't know. What else do we get? Uh, 
we put the video back to normal, please, Tim. Ah. Uh, sorry, Tony. Is that better? There you go. Uh, thank you, Trevor, for the happy anniversary. Hope we make it to Sunday. All the best from June. Uh, Mark, Mark Dowd. I used to have a brother called Mark Dowd. Never calls me. I call him, though. He's there. He's there, yeah. If he's still there, hey, Mark, Mark, give us a call. Well, don't call because then you ruin the thing. We will call soon. Do you know if any restaurants in Las Cristianas are open? There are there are restaurants there that are open, but until the tourists come back, the tourist restaurants are going to stay shut, I think. Because they can't afford to pay their staff, and you guys are not here. So I reckon middle of July. A lot of restaurants in the village are opening up on the 1st of July, so I think they're waiting for the month to start. Uh, for tax and uh, reasons, and also the furlough money for the for the employees. So first of July, we'll see a lot more opening. Middle of July, a lot of people coming in. Shut the dogs up. And um, yeah, end of July there'll be more, but it, it'll like gradually grow up over the next three months, I should imagine. Okay, very hot here the last three days. Three days we've done that. Okay. So, uh, Aaron says it was hot in the UK today. Trevor's coming over 1st of July but got cancelled, hopefully December. We'll see you in December. Andy, crazy about the pool regulations. Oh, I see you. Okay, okay. You got to play? Okay. Okay. Uh, you two are wonderful. Oh. Thanks, Thank Raimundo. You. Thank you, Raimundo. And um, we'll see you next time you're over, okay? So, <laughs> enough of enough of us being embarrassed. Enough of us um, having to listen to the dogs in our careers. They're not that bad, actually. They're like... Uh, you get used to it. You get used to it. They can't help it. They can't help it, especially with us. So I'm going to go back to my little planet now. To say to Ra. I like this. So this is our world, and we like inviting you guys in, and we love the way that you love us, and we love you back. This is Tim. Thank you, Stephen. For living with MS and Tenerife, signing off. Bye. Bye. It doesn't work like this, because I've got to do this first, and then I've got to do this now. Stop live streaming. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you didn't turn it off too soon. So for those of you who have reached the end, thank you very, very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the little bell for notifications. I mean, actually, I've got a 1,000 subscribers now, so I'm quite happy because I will be able to go live eventually. And I don't want to get millions of subscribers because then I can't talk to each of you. So I do try to answer all your comments, so please do comment. And uh, I hope that when you do make it over here, that you take the time out to have a bit of fun and sun sea sand and sangria and if you see us walking by say hello because we will stop by and say hello and if you want to meet us then just let us know where you're going to be between let's say 3 30 and 6 because we're usually out in the afternoons or i try and get christina out in the afternoons uh, at least tuesdays and thursdays monday and wednesday and friday i'm going to be doing the podcast where I'm going to be going to bars and restaurants and just recording people having fun. And uh, the old podcasts have been doing stuff about uh, people who live here. But what I really wanted to do was make you the stars. So if you want to be on the podcast, just let me know where you're going to be between, let's say, three and five in the afternoon, chilling out. Afcast Tenerife Afternoons, it's called. And uh, you can have a bit of fun on the radio as they say because i mean i will take a picture on i will take a video but typically it's just the it's just the sound anyway this is tim on his own after finding out that you can download your own facebook live videos to upload to youtube uh for living with ms in tenerife with the comportillo just to make sure that i mean i have got a glass of it Signing off. Bye.